Okay, uh, let's talk about latency now and set it, setting up your audio drivers. Now, it's really important to set up your audio interface and your audio driver properly with Cubase in order to get less latency. And what is latency? Basically, uh, that's the delay of the signal you get from the moment you input some signal into your audio interface, like your sound card. If you are recording something with a microphone or you have your guitar plugged in directly into your sound card, whatever it is, uh, that signal travels from your instruments to your card and through your computer out through your monitoring system, like your speakers, headphones, or whatever you're using. Now, you want to have this delay as low as possible, because especially uh, when recording some, some live instruments, if you are experiencing on your headphones, let's say you're using your headphones for control, if you're experiencing a huge delay, then your playing abilities won't be that good. It won't be so comfortable to play and to record. So to set up your, your audio system and your, your sound card, we should go to Studio tab. Older versions of Cubase, like Cubase 8, I think maybe 9, uh, this was a device tab, and the, it had a stu uh, device setup, now it's Studio setup. So let's click on Studio setup. And then when we get this window, um, where we can see on the left side, audio system, like what audio system do we have? I'm currently using a Focusrite, uh, audio card and right now I have plugged in my Scarlett 2i2 uh, so I'm going to select it right here down here it says focus right USB you select your own whatever whatever sound interface you're using and now you can see here in the right corner input and output latency so basically this is how late my signal is when I send it through my uh, sound card and I keep it under 10, everything under 10 milliseconds feel com feels comfortable for, for me. I don't experience any troubles. And I would suggest that you try to keep it under 10 milliseconds, uh, if possible, again. Now, um, let's go to control panel and see what affects this latency. Now, first of all, audio processing is very demanding on your CPU. So having a good CPU you know, is uh, the thing you want. But even if you cannot afford any, you know, latest CPU, don't worry, like a good, at least decent quad core will do the work. Um, now, the first, like the two things we have to set up are sample rate and buffer size. Now, sample rate defines the audio quality. But again, don't worry about these too much. Like people obsessed with having 96 kilohertz um, set up, having the best sound quality. Honestly, like all the professional projects I did, I never, you know, went above 48 kilohertz just because 96 demands way more CPU. So it's way more demanding for a computer. And I barely notice if, if, if noticing any difference between 48 kilohertz and 96 kilohertz. And 44 kilohertz is like a CD quality. So you have tons and tons of um, professional music created at 44 kilohertz. So I usually work at 48 um, and that's satisfying for my CPU and for my sound quality. Uh, so I will just keep it selected 44 one at the moment because it will stop the recording I'm doing right now. That's the only reason, but I usually work at 48. Now, Buffer size is the thing that affects this latency the most. So lower the buffer size, lower the latency. Again, higher the buffer size, higher the latency. Now, there is no magic formula for this one. You should try and ex experiment with the computer you have. Try to get this buffer size as low as possible to get, you know, a better, uh, better lower latency. But again, if you notice any cracks or pops or any weird sounds while uh, playing your projects or project or while recording some instruments, this probably means that your CPU cannot handle all of that audio. 
and that you probably need to uh, put the higher buffer size in order to make it doable for it. So again, at this moment, I am at 96, and this works for me. Again, experiment, see what works for your CPU. Okay, now let's go back to our audio system. I'm going to click on audio system. Next thing's important for you in order to get the most of your computer is always keep multiprocessing activated. This allows uh, your CPU to use all of its cores, and this is very beneficial for music production. The next thing, keep your ASIO or ASIO, I'm not sure how this is pronounced, I always have a dilemma, but let's say ASIO, guard. This technology is uh, Steinberg's technology that also prioritizes uh, audio processing and it helps a lot with some plugins and, um, and virtual instruments, so keep this one active as well. Also, activate Steinberg audio power scheme. This allows your CPU again to handle better audio, but to um, basically to use more electric energy, you know, which is not such a big deal. It's not using, uh, a, it's not like a huge difference. And yeah, this would be it for setting up your audio system. Find the latency that works the best for your computer and try to keep it as low as possible. See you in the next video.